Hi, uh, this is Dr. Martin, and I'm here to go over some of the homework uh, that came in for the first week. Congratulations, everybody got Max installed, has Ableton installed, is up and running and playing with Vizzy and doing your first programs and video processing. We're really excited for you. So there were a few misunderstandings that I just want to clear up before we move ahead too fast into week two. So let's take a look at this homework, okay? So there are cables everywhere, okay? So the first thing that you can try is routing patch cords. And so that looks like grabbing a cable, clicking on it. Oops, let me make sure I'm in edit mode. Clicking on it, there we go and then right click and you can route the patch cord and it'll make them very nice and straight and clean instead of just woogly. Um, so that's always an option uh, to control shift Y if you wanna do a few of them at once. Okay, so making your cables nice and clean, let me bring back what we had before, is a good first step. But if we look closer here, we've got some mismatches okay so here's an audio the left side speaker of the audio has a yellow cable and that's getting run into a video opening nope you don't want to do that here you've got a video a blue cable coming out and that's plugged into a control okay so here's the video is supposed to come in here then the first dot controls this style the second dot controls this style so this third dot controls this style but that's being run by a video signal probably not what you wanted. Um, then there's a problem of having like the video comes down here to video in this module, that's fine. Uh, the video comes out over here into video, great. Video comes out, great. Next effect, solarizer, video comes in, great. Video comes out, goes into collider, great. And then the video never comes out and goes to the viewer. So we never get to see what actually happened from that chain of effects, okay? So the video viewer here is just going to show the video coming in to this Procoser and coming down into the viewer. All these other pieces, like here's a video chain, here you have an audio signal coming into a control and then video out, going into video, but nothing ever comes. So you've got to keep an eye on what each of these inlets means. And the way to do that, okay, is to hover over top of the inlet and a little clue will come up. And it says this sets the speed. Okay, so there's the dial called speed. This is the button that sets the speed and it expects a number between zero and one. Okay, let's look at this one. This turns it on or off. So there's a signal, if you send in a number that's less than 0.5, it turns it off. Larger, it turns it on. So each of these will tell you what kind of signal it is and how to control it. Okay, let me pop open another one here that I wanna spend a moment on. So this is really a lot of nice uh, routing of cables, right? They're so clean and they all look nice and they're lined up. But the problem is we've got video signals getting poured into the video, but also poured into all of these other control ports. Okay, here's a video signal, but then the same video signal controls if you're freezing or not, and the same video signal controls the breakpoint. Here's video signal controlling these inlets and controlling these inlets, and here's a video signal controlling this inlet, which sets the speed of the randomizer. So video to video, control to control, okay? And then you're also gonna have problems if you clump up things on the other side. So there should be one video signal coming into the viewer. Okay, we've got a video signal here coming into the viewer. We've got a video signal here coming in. We've got a video signal here coming in. So it would be nice if they automatically did something, maybe faded between each other, but they don't do that automatically, okay? They just become jumbled. So you need to have a separate way of processing if you want multiple video signals together. So for example, the two router module would do that. So in this example, let's liven this up, okay? Here's video goes to video, 
Video comes out, goes to video. Video comes out from the pixelator and goes to the viewer. Oh, but look, Dr. Martin, there are two signals going into that viewer and you just said not to do that. That's right, because there's a splitter. Like if you had a TV signal and you put a cable splitter in there so you could send cable to two TVs, that's what we're doing here. So if we play this, okay, if we slip all the way over to selector zero, then what's happening is the signal is flowing on this side only. It goes through the pixelator and out to the video. All of this is not happening. Nothing's being fed to it. And if we hang our little cursor there, it says I'm sending video content. This is their code for video content. Um, over to this side, there's the little dot on this side. Okay, this side, the switch has been turned off. And if we affect the pixelator, we can drop it all the way down and just have one big pixel. We can come all the way up and now we actually have all the pixels and we haven't pixelated too much. We we're saying this is like Minecraft, right? This is like an 8-bit Minecraft effect happening. So, okay, I don't want that set of effects. I want to look at this set of effects. So we'll flip the switch and let's turn on these wanderers and twiddlers. So there's a little movement. Okay, so now what we're seeing is not the pixelator. Now there's the white dot and the signal video to video to video to video to video into the viewer is flowing downhill through this pipeline. The like brownish colored modules here, these generators, right, are only going to control signals. So this is controlling how this knob spins, okay? This is wandering the values for these knobs, these all over the place. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six knobs. So they match up. So we wanna control those knobs with things that put out a zero to one number. So here we have, and this is a very nice effect. I like this homework very much, but originally it was all smooshed together, okay? So if you wanna separate it out, say, well, let's see what the pixelator does over here. So, okay, that was a very cool Minecrafty thing. Let's see what this sequence does. Uh, the Hoosolator into a slider. Um, I turned off the freezer because the freezer just is gonna freeze it. <laughs> it's not too interesting at that point. So the freezer, I don't know how much you wanna bring that in for, for what we were doing this week. Um, you can change, you know, all of these different uh, styles here. So now there's a jump, right? There's a jump in the output when we go from maximum value to minimum value because we're just spinning this dial all the way around. Um, and you can do it in the other direction, but I don't like doing it at all. So then we'll go all the way up, all the way down, all the way down, all the way up, and just bounce back and forth so it's a little smoother. Okay, so just to say there are a lot of ways to combine these. I'm so glad that you're pulling out a lot of boxes and you're exploring with things. This week you can start looking into these uh, controller boxes, right? Let's uh, unedit and go to Visi and just show that we were in the controller box with switches and routers for the data, sending data around to different places, twisters. So there's a lot to explore in here. And we're gonna, don't forget if you want, you can also pop into this beep catalog and this lets you bring in things that are more audio based, like uh, synthesizer based. So uh, oscillators, all different kinds of oscillators and sounds are in here. Um, we'll get to that in, an, in another week, but at least we're gonna be working with the audio to Vizzy um, to, to play around with that a little bit this week to have music controlling our effects. So terrific first round homework. I'm really, really proud of you for jumping in and trying something so new and so different. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it this week, adding some sound to it. All right, be, be active on the boards. We'll help you all we can all week. All right, take care.